Hi, welcome to my blog. My name is Tom Shu, and today I'm going to show you a trick that I learned from Lindsay Adler how to make kind of a pseudo 3D image. It gives kind of a neat effect when you have uh, somebody with really bright colors, maybe a, a bright hair, or uh, in this case, it's bright hair, but bright makeup also works. So, you know, it's not something that you're going to use every day, but it might be something you want to add to your Photoshop toolbox per se, you know, having these techniques uh, available for, you know, artistic expression, if nothing else, it's worth the effort to watch this. So what we'll do is we'll start off by duplicating this layer. We're going to hit Control J or Command J on the Mac, okay? And with this layer selected, we're going to apply a hue saturation adjustment. Now, if you make an adjustment here by selecting hue saturation, it's going to affect the whole image. You see it's applied to the whole image so if we do this hue saturation it's going to apply to everything we just want to apply it to the previous layer so let's control Z to back out of there let's just take this and put it in the trash so when you make an adjustment over here if you go image adjustments hue saturation now it's only going to apply to the selected layer so what we're going to do is we're going to take the hue and we're going to bring it all the way to the right notice if we go all the way to the left it's the same effect blue it's because it's the exact opposite of the colors that are naturally occurring in the image so we select OK there and then we're gonna neutralize all of that adjustment and we're gonna make it gray so to do that we're gonna take our opacity and put it at 50 percent okay now we have more or less a black and white image so what we'll do now is since we have two individual layers, we're going to offset this image. We're going to move it over and up, and it's going to reveal the color in that saturation layer against the base layer and give us a 3D look. So we're going to zoom in a little bit so you can see what's happening here. Don't try to use your mouse by moving it over. So if you're not in the Move tool, hit the V key. Say if you're in this tool, you hit the V key, as in Victor, it'll bring you to the Move tool. And if you just you know click kind of in the center and use your arrow keys like two or three to the left one two three to the left and we'll go up three one two three did we get three let me go back down okay yeah we did one two three to the left one two three up and now you've got this kind of 3d looking image it's offset well we want well I want to make the colors more saturated okay so what I'll do is I'll now I'll do our global saturation for the whole image hue saturation adjustment and we'll just grab the saturation and kick it up now if you go too far you'll see what happens to the image and maybe you like that but I particularly don't want that I want something like this it's kind of a unique looking image and uh, it's something you can add to your retoucher's toolbox and I want to thank Lindsay Adler for showing this trick and uh, I think it's kinda of neat Thank you all for visiting my blog today, and if you have any questions, feel free to put them down in the comment section below, and until next time, we'll see you soon.